after having seen the uh, flow in the contamination now it's time to make a study of the reasons for which these two unwanted events occur by now we have understood that the problem that occur are due to the fact that the interface shifts from one place to another if we want to stop this unwanted events interface should not be allowed to move from a certain operable allowable zone it should be in between these two margins let's understand why the interface ever wants to shift from either the inner side to outer side or from the outer to the inner side when the interface shifts outwards towards the pressure of the oil has become now greater than that of the pressure of the water so the rise of the pressure of the oil has to be taken care of by equally increasing the pressure from the other side so that the meeting point of both the phases remains at that previous position so now the corrective action is to increase the pressure in the water side by increasing the amount of the water revolving that is dependent on the size of the gravity disk because gravity disk changes the size of its internal diameter thereby maintaining certain amount of the mass of the water involved as the force depends on the mass of the water revolving so the size of this gravity disk is directly responsible for the production of this force and thus the pressure so now to increase the pressure of the water side we now have to increase the mass of this water and to increase the mass of the water we have to reduce the passage meant for escaping this excess water by reducing the escaping area of this water as you can see here let's take it to be a internal diameter of this gravity disk if i increase this internal diameter of this gravity disk the passage available is more so the mass of the water left inside the periphery will be less that means larger the diameter of this gravity disk lesser the mass of the water left and due to this lesser mass the force generated will be less and the pressure will be less and if i reduce this escaping area we can ensure that the higher amount of this water will be left inside and thus the pressure would be increased that means once we reduce the size of the gravity disk we can increase the pressure so the relationship between the size of the gravity disk and the pressure is opposite so when we want to increase the pressure we have to decrease the size of the gravity disk the term size of the gravity disk is the size of this internal diameter of the gravity disk which allows the mass of the water left inside the periphery 